Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope you're good. I hope everything is fine. And uh, you know, today we are going to be making uh, a convex shaped concrete wall, right? Or a U-shaped concrete wall. So check this out. I'm working on a residential project and uh, I am still on the very initial stages. All right. Look at all the different things that I have added. I'm still working on this. So, you know, I've seen this wall in so many different places and it kind of looks nice. So it's not bad that if you send this as a proposal to the client. So, you know, the concept we are going to be using for this wall is going to be the mullions, right? We are going to design a U-shaped mullion and then we'll make a mullion wall out of it. So let's quickly get started. You know, whatever I'm saying, <coughs> excuse me, whatever I'm saying is going to make sense once we make the actual wall. Let's so open up the profile let's go to millimeters you know uh, millimeters let's go to to what to what uh, so millimeters and let's go to two decimal places okay okay let's press R rp right here so one and uh, rp and uh, rp right here and uh, rpdi which is going to be the one and the two and the three and fine and let's set the first constraint so one and the two and the three and fine let's set the second constraint now one and the two and uh, one and uh, two perfect right here after <coughs> excuse me after that let's press md do not press these remember i told you use shortcuts after that let's go to that let's go to that and uh, d-e-p-e-t-h Mm, fine all right let's go for this one this is going to be the w i d t h uh perfect all right uh, so now um you know the sizes uh check this out i think um 500 and uh, 250 something like that all right <laughs> and uh, our our parametric layout is successful right so that's the first point now we would have to make out the actual wall and we'd have to lock it onto these reference planes so um let's go to line and uh you know remember this side is the interior the exterior side and that is the interior side uh, for example um, something like uh something like that and uh um fine and uh, after that uh let's go to line again and uh, let's click on that so one and uh, two no that's wrong uh let's go to create again line and uh started in radius so one and two and three perfect after that uh click on this point click on this point and let's uh, mirror this so let's mirror it on this axis after that let's go back to line and uh, one and two and uh, one and two and now we have to so this is the shape right we are successful now we have to lock in everything so al is for line let's click on that click on that and lock okay so you know we are going to follow these lines now click on that and click on this point right here so lock and uh, this point right here and this point right here lock so we have locked all of this into our shape this reference line now is the same case for this line so one and uh, two right here locked and uh, one again and two right here locked after that uh, lock this point right here and uh, lock uh, this point right here that's over constraints all right that's not right way to do it all right uh, lock that point and uh, it's again over constraint all right let's let's we have locked that already all right so now click on this point and uh, this is the first point lock and one two right here lock again and uh, two right here lock again all right so just follow these reference lines make sure that whenever your shape is touching the reference line that has to be locked so in this case there are only two small points that are needs to be locked right so the first one is locked and uh, right here the second was locked fine all right so now our parametric shape is successful and how do we test this just um you know how do we test our shape let's click on any reference line plus above up on the keyboard and check this out it is successful and uh, plus uh, left uh, left or right on the keyboard it is moving correctly there are no problems so it is successful all right so now the actual shape of this is going to be 500 by 250 perfect 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 uh now you know just uh, let's just import it into our project so this is going to be the family 4 load into the project all right it is loaded let's go to this wall and uh, you know the first thing is always the mullions because we have imported the mullions all right so this is a rectangular mullion 2.5 let's go to edit let's go to duplicate and this is going to be the con <laughs> excuse me oh my god i'm coughing concave um all right let's just name it uh, name it concave and the profile is where our family is right because we have made a million profile nothing very hard to understand isn't it after that let's go to this and uh, concrete c o n c r e t e uh, concrete 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 um all right let's just go for this one and uh, fine 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 uh, okay so our million is made now let's go to this wall right here and um let's change this to to what to to curtain wall and uh, let's go to unjoin elements that's fine let's go to edit let's go to duplicate so this is going to be the concrete c r e t e concrete um con c a <coughs> excuse me oh my god concrete concave wall right uh, so the first thing is the the vertical grid do you guys remember the width of our 
um, it was 500 mm, right? So 0 0.5. Uh, fine, 500 mm, nothing very hard. And um, all right, so let's press OK. And uh, fine, that is made. Now let's go to architecture. Let's go to mullion. So remember, this is our mullion. Let's go to all grids and let's paste it and uh, delete elements and check this out guys so it is complete and look at how beautiful this is so these are you know these uh, concave shaped um these are i mean there are so many different places where i've seen these right so for example this wall right here and angel elements and uh, all right let's go to mullions let's go to all grid and let's paste it let's paste that and check this out uh delete elements no problem a few of them are gonna get deleted so this is the concave uh, shaped uh uh, concave shaped uh, concrete walls right and look at how beautiful they are so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from it and uh, these were using the mullion profiles i mean we used a mullion profile and we have made concrete shaped walls right take care of yourself and uh, bye bye